Hi, this is Sung, uh, the Principal and Director of Sky Academy. Welcome back. We are going through locus, right? And doing a, a locus type equations or locus type questions, right? Questions that, um, uh, that have to do with locus. And um, with this particular episode, I want to spend some time looking at examples involving locus where we use the distance formula. This formula here, the distance uh, where distance is equal to the square root of the difference between the x coordinate squared plus the the square of the dis the difference between the y coordinate squared of the two points that we're finding the distance for added together all underneath a square root sign yes all right and we're going to see how this applies here all right so for example find the equation of the locus of a moving point p uh, where the coordinates are x and y such that it is equidistant equidistant from both point a which is um, minus three four and b which is which has coordinates two seven so let's plot that on a on a number plane first and then work out how we how we need to go about solving this. So minus three four, so minus three is here. So four would be there, which would be that point here. So that's point A, and then we've got point B, which is two seven, which might be two here and seven, which is up here. Um, and let's call that point B. All right. So we need to find the equation of a moving point that so that the distance between a and b are always going to be equal now there is an obvious point um, that will fit in that that locus right the obvious point will be the midpoint between a and b because obviously at the midpoint the distance between a and p is going to be equal to the distance between p and b so um, a good place to start would be the midpoint which is p Good? Yep. Now, I also want you to kind of have a think about what this locus is going to look like, all right? Um, yeah, I'll go through that, the, that at the end, right? Um, exactly what the equation of the, um, the locus will be, all right? But have a think about how that locus will look, all right? And you should, I mean, for some of you, common sense will be able to kind of um, dictate what that answer is going to be, all right? For others of you, working it out might not be as simple. So what we need to do is go through the process of algebra that allows us to work out what the equation is, and that'll give us the equation of the locus, right? So what we're looking for is to set up, all right, the geometric conditions that'll give us the equation of the locus, right? And the, the, uh, the geometric conditions are, the distance from A to P would be equal to the distance from P to B. Does that make sense? All right, so we've got here, so what we want is we want A, P to be equal to P, B. We want that distance to be the same. Does that make sense? All right. Cool. Now let's work out what the distance of AP will be. The distance from AP, right, will be, um, well, it will require us to use this equation here, right? So the distance between A and P will be equal to the square root, all right, of Y minus negative three. Well, sorry, it's not more Y. It's X minus negative three, all squared, plus Y minus Four, all squared. Do you see that? All right. So you've got a is equal to minus three. Oh, so the x coordinate of a is equal to minus three. The y coordinate of a is is four, right? And then you've got p, the coordinates of p being x and y. You substitute that into the distance formula, and you get a p is equal to the square root of x minus negative three um, in brackets squared plus y minus four in brackets squared. Does that make sense? And that will simplify down to the square root of x plus three, the two negatives here will make a plus, plus y minus four, all squared. Do you see that? Cool. Then you do the same thing for PB. So let's work out what PB is gonna be. PB 
is going to be the square root of x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 7 all squared. Okay? All right. What we do now is we equate the two. Yeah? So we make that equal to that and then we simplify the equation out. So let's do that, all right? So what we get is x plus three all squared plus y minus four all squared is equal to the square root of x minus two all squared plus y minus seven all squared. Now, what I also want you to note is that we can get rid of the square root sign. We can square both sides, yes? So I'm going to square both sides and I'm going to simplify. And expand, sorry, not just simplify, but expand. So we've got x plus x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 8y plus 16. And that's going to be equal to all right, and um, I'm going to put that, okay, over here. So you've got x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 14y plus 49. Yeah, I'm going to bring all of that over to the other side, and we're left with x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 8y plus 16, bring all of that over to the left hand side, minus x squared minus 4x um, plus 4 plus y squared minus 14y um, plus 49. Close brackets equals to zero. Now, let me just double check everything. Good. All right. So now I'm going to simplify. Now we've got the minus here. This will cancel with this. This will cancel with this. So the higher powers of x and y are going to cancel out. 6x minus negative 4x is 10x. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 minus 8y minus negative 14y is plus 6y and then you've got 16 minus 49 which is minus um, 33 I think it is equals to 0 simplify that out and you should get 10x plus 6y minus 28 equals to 0. Divide both sides by 2 just to simplify it out. 5x plus 3y minus 14 equals to 0. And that will give you the equation of the locus of um, the point P, which will be equidistant from A and B. Now, um, now that we've worked out this, the equation of the line, so you can see how it's a, the equation of a straight line, right? But what is special about this straight line? Okay, what I want you to notice about the, the what, about what's special about this straight line is that it will be the perpendicular bisector. It will be the line that bisects the line AB. All right, so it will pass through the midpoint of AB, and it will pass through the midpoint at right angles. Okay, it'll be the perpendicular bisector, okay? Um, and you can work that out by working out the gradient of A and B, working out the gradient of this line, and what you'll find is that the gradients will be the negative reciprocals of one another. And it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because any, any line, um, well, any point on the perpendicular bisector of A and B will make an isosceles triangle right, um, with the points A, P, and B, yeah? Which means that AP will be equal to AB. So it kind of does make sense geometrically.
So there you have it. That's the first type of question that we, um, we're gonna go through in terms of the distance formula, all right? Another one, uh, which is an easier one, is this one here, all right? We want the equation of the locus of a moving point Px, Y, P with coordinates x, y, such that it is always four units from the point to minus one, okay? This one is probably a little bit more obvious. It is a circle, yes? It's gonna be a circle. All right, so let's actually have a look at how this will, how this will kind of look. All right. And we've got the point two and minus one. That's the center and we want um, the locus that is always going to be four units away. So, so that's that point there. Let's call it point P, X, Y, and it's always going to be four units away, right? So what we want to do, and here's what we've got to do. We've got to stipulate the geometric um, condition, right, in, in terms of of an algebraic expression. All right, so we've got this point. Let's call this point um, C, C for center, all right? And it's the point two minus one. So in other words, we want the distance CP to be equal to what? We want the distance CP to be equal to four. Does that make sense? Now, what is the equation for CP? CP will be given by the square root, all right? of x minus two, all squared, plus y minus negative one, all squared, because um, it's the distance between two points, x, y, and two minus one. So um, you've got your x coordinates, x and two here, and you've got your y coordinates, y and minus one there, right? So we've got that all sorted out. So what we've got, is x minus two all squared. Now the two minuses will make a plus, plus y plus one all squared equals two, four, right? And then all we have to do is square both sides. And there you have it. You have the equation of a circle, right? Um, x minus two all squared plus y plus one all squared equals to 16. So basically, the locus of this shape is a circle. That's an ugly circle and it doesn't, doesn't reflect the fact that the center is there, but nonetheless, right? It's not the quality of the, it's not the quality of the, of the, of the graph that matters. It's whether we get the right answer, isn't it? Okay, so that's how you do that sort of question. In the next um, bit, um, I'm just gonna rub off the board here and I'll put two more distant questions up on the board, all right? Because there is a variety of different ways that um, the distance formula can be used. So let me try and cover as many of them as possible, all right? So I'm gonna rub this out, come back with two more examples. Let's get stuck into it. Thank you.